um, I'm going to meet a brother who has been following my YouTube channel and then I think on Instagram. So he sent me a message that he's coming to Ghana and then he want to meet up. But one thing that I want to advise is that when you get a chance to come to Ghana, try and get a smaller phone, okay? We have these smaller phones that is not expensive. It's like 100 CDs, um, like $10. And then you can get a chip and then use it. Because sometimes when you're traveling without a SIM card and you only uh, depend on your depend on your uh, Wi-Fi, uh, you're really going to be facing some problems. So this is an advice that I want to give you. If you're coming to Ghana, just whoever you're coming to meet, let him get you a smaller phone so that you can be you know, moving around with it rather than depending on your uh on wi-fi yeah so i'm gonna stay here and then wait for him i didn't know you were coming with all of that man <laughs> it's all my stuff that's all your stuff okay let me get you stuff. Okay. Echo, echo, echo city. lately everybody mm -hmm. You gotta have some black people that's successful. Yeah. You put them in politics, some doing business, some entertainment, some are bankers, whatever the case may be. And then if you can let 10 to 20% look as if this place is it's okay. <laughs> and, and, we, and we oppress 80%, mm -hmm. it's smart, bro. Yeah. It's a numbers game. Mm -hmm. It's mathematically, it, and I'm saying it. That, that is the the most powerful media in the world. Mm -hmm. United yeah. States me media. Media, yeah. Yeah, propaganda. So you're talking about high level manipulation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. About with imagery. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. This, this is the top. Mm -hmm. They studied that shit for hundreds and hundreds of years. Right? Yeah. And they perfected <laughs> and they, it. Yeah. So, I, so when they are doing it, you no don't see anything no wrong one, with no it, one, yeah. bro. Everyone's talking about America, bro, and it's fucked up, really. Yeah. But people think that's the fucking paradise, so they let you know it's the number one propaganda machine yeah. in the universe. Like, for you to believe worldwide, because I've been to like 13 different countries, and people want to go there, and I understand people want to make money. Yeah. The economics of it, but money ain't everything. Mm -hmm. So. The fact that people have that image lets you know how powerful yeah. the media is. The yeah. U.S. media, like, that is the most powerful weapon in the world, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. How people think in a certain way. Mm -hmm. You know? And that's what it's like. Hey, what's good? So, on our way to Asebo with my big brother, Dante, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I asked him when the, the, that attitude, that behavior of black you know black people killing themselves and hurting themselves and he said he's written a book about it so tell me a little bit about the book yeah so the book is called doing too much mm -hmm. see me there yeah okay that's you right there doing too much i can't stop showing off and neither can you so i talk about my own experiences of uh you know just doing certain things whether it be with money whether it be with gangster shit or whatever like to impress others so mm -hmm. you know that's a big thing in our culture yeah you feel the compression the pressure to compete and compare and a part of that 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 violence is showing off that you could kill somebody like that gang is. yeah the gang banging you know a lot of that is i kill or whatever is a mentality yeah so i discuss um my own issues for showing off and i just give a lot of um it's a critique of the culture in general. Okay. So yeah, man, I don't sold a lot of the books. People are getting a lot from the book that sit there right. And um I got I got a chapter called uh, When There's Smoke that deals with that violence mm -hmm. straight on. Mm -hmm. I give you an understanding of um, you know, from some of our scholars like Dr. Amos Wilson to give you an uh, understanding behind the senseless violence. Yeah. It's deeper than just, oh, they, they killing, they killing, no, it's the mentality. How did that mentality to develop? Yeah. Where this is coming from? So basically, um, it's self-hatred. 
So the basis of it is, instead of like committing suicide, they commit homicide. Um, yeah. So it's really, they want to kill themselves. So that's when they see the next black man is really self-hatred. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of deep. It's deep, it's deep. Yeah, it's yeah, deep. yeah. It's been that way for a while and I don't, I don't see it changing like right now, like, but you know, you do, do the best you can to just let people know. You have an understanding of it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All right, so this is this is the palace of uh, the Asebu chief. Yeah, the man, the chief who is giving out the free land. This is this is the palace. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, you live there with his family? No, no, no. This is like a ceremonial place. Okay. Yeah, where most events do happen. Yeah. So. Um, I got a couple of people who asked me to help them get a land. Mm -hmm. So their documents are ready. So I'm going to just get it and then we move on. And I'll okay. take you to the plot. Where you you want to fulfill. Now we blowing the trail. My mind on Zoom. Mom was laid in the executive room. But I cannot tell you what I was shown. Because when yeah. I woke up, my mother was gone. Hey, so... Um, Yes, that was a beautiful conversation over there, uh, talking to Dante. So I applied the land for, I think, five people. Uh, they've been calling me, Echo, when is my plot allocation? And this is real time. Today is Monday, 23rd of um, January, 2023. Good afternoon. January, 2023. And I'm at the palace. Yes. So I keep telling you that if you want to work with me, be patient with me. I will get you what I have to get you. All right, so let's go inside. Yeah. Hey, so I uh, finally got the uh, plot allocation for five people that I applied for early this year. And uh, it's ready. I've gone for them. So I'm going to send it to them. Anybody who's ready and want me to help, I'm willing to do that. So I came around with Dante. Okay. He's making a phone call. So that's what happened. I've gotten the documents and another person also has some documents here who she asked me to come and get it. I can't show you her name, but that is it. And then the, the allocation documents right here. So my work is done. Now we're going to give ourselves two months approximately for us to get the document from the Ghana Lands Commission. So uh, early this year, I applied for five people. The allocation is ready. And now we're gonna wait for the land papers from the Ghana Lands Commission. So my work is done. We're gonna go to the land and show Dante what is happening there. They trying to get away, huh? <laughs> yeah. Everybody is trying to get away from yeah, man, that place is fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you're here, you can, you know, you can pay the rules. You can pay the rules. Come upstairs and down there. Yeah, so they're having a conversation up there. Um, I brought Dante here because he didn't know about it. I said with an African village. So I brought him here and then he's talking to Mr. Len. They're having a conversation. That's pretty nice. What about your mom and all? Okay, so I think uh, Moy is not around. I came here. Things are really moving. Yes, there's this information. I had a question today. Um, the person was asking me, Echo, can you help me get a land? I was like, yeah. And he said, how much? And I said, uh, the plot is 1,200. Then he said, why are you giving me false information? No, uh, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, yo, if you don't know, you have to ask. First of all, so now I want to explain. When this project started, they had three different sizes of land and three amounts. Okay, the first one was 80 by 80, that went for $700. Then 80 by 100 feet, that went for $1,000. And then 100 by 100 feet, that went for $1,200. So after the first phase, they decided to stick to one size and stick to one amount. So now the plot has only one size measurement, which is 80 by 100. And it is one amount, which is 1,200. So I'm letting you know, if you don't know. It's, it's more. <laughs> I'm telling you. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. We need to finish that apartment real quick. Real quick, because guess what? 
They're start coming. Like crazy. Yeah. I hear March. They are coming. April, May is booked. June. No, I'm serious. <laughs> but how did they find your place? Echo Simpson. <laughs> Echo, Echo Simpson. <laughs> 